With step aerobics, you can get high exercise intensity with low, indeed minimal, impact. The intensity of the workout is manipulated by the height of your step and the weight of your hand weights. Research from the lab of Drs. Lorna and Peter Francis at San Diego State University suggests beginners start at a four inch step and no weights. The next increment is a platform at eight inches, but still no weights. Those at intermediate level are encouraged to use an eight to 10 inch platform with one to two pounds of weight in each hand. Advanced exercisers can use a 10 to 12 inch step with two to three pounds per hand, and highly conditioned experts will be challenged with a 12 inch platform and three to four pounds per hand. Now, your height is a consideration too. No matter how fit you are, the step should never be so high that your knee exceeds 90 degrees of flexion. In other words, if this angle behind your knee is less than a right angle, that step is too high and can cause knee injury. So keep this angle in mind behind your leg and make sure it's a right angle or greater and step right up. So how does your bench look? You know, according to my height, I could actually go about three or four inches higher. I but think I, this would be plenty, sure. How come we've got the high here. ones back here? What are you yeah, talking yes, about? Well, listen, but you're a good three or four inches taller than I am. Oh, yeah, so okay, there. I didn't think of listen it that way. <laughs> Let's warm you up. Just touch and touch. Gals here are at 10 inches, and the guys are at 12. But look at Ron back there. I mean, he's seven feet tall. <laughs> at least. That's right. We're all pretty tall back here. <laughs> well, I have tried it on a taller bench. You have too. So tonight. have I. We just and we were Charlie. sucking air. <laughs> I was really sucking air. Okay. We're going to step across this bench. We're going to straddle it. In. Four. Three. Two. One, just step across. That's it. Now, you know, repeated impact to the same part of your foot again and again and again can be injurious. So when we actually start stepping up and weight bearing on that bench, try and use your whole foot, the forefoot and the heel. Although there is some choreography that calls just for a little touch, just a little tap. Oh, I'm looking forward Four, to that. <laughs> three, two, step back. There you go. All right. The first coordination of the day. Here's the first routine. Going to take one leg and bring it up eight times. In four, three, here you go. We got eight, seven. Pump those arms. Four, three. Now alternate for eight. Just warming you up, increasing your blood flow. Get it and going. Other side. Here's eight, seven, six. Yes. Now alternate. Hold it there. Step across again. In four, three, two, one. I remember the first time oops, I stood oops. on a bench how awkward the stepping across is. You think, oh, Lordy, what's coming at me? Just like any other physical activity, bench aerobics gets easier with practice. We got four, three, give me eight to one side. Eight, seven, six, pump those arms and alternate the legs. For eight, seven, six. Now four, three, other side. Eight, seven, six. Last four, three, two. Alternate. Eight, seven, six. Now four, three, step across. Here we are. Four times, one leg. Four, three, alternate. Four, three, other side. Four, three, oh, alternate. Oh, I can feel it already. Huh? We haven't even started. This is warm-up, Lonnie. This is warm-up. <laughs> Hold it right here. Some 
shoulder shrugs. I don't know. I don't know. Double time. Up. Up because we're going to use some hand weights, although if you're a beginner, you don't need to. Now, turn those shoulder shrugs into a rotation around, around, around. That's it. Now, think about your shoulder blades in your back and pull them together and pull them apart. Together, apart. Together, apart. It's your upper back we're working with. Four, three, here's double time. Up, up, and right overhead. That's it. Now watch the feet. Instead of tapping with your forefoot, tap with your heel. That's it. Good. Here's four and three. Lower those arms down a little. That's it. Good. Now just drop your hands. Now we're going to come off the bench and do a little side step. Four, three, two. Here we go. Step out and out and out. Hold that foot pattern and let's circle the arms in four, three, two. Here we go. Up and up. Got good big range of motion. So you're ready to rock and roll with step aerobics. All right. All right. Four, three. Just drop those hands. Four, three. Use your hamstrings. Kick your bum. Whoop. Good day, hamstrings. Wake up. They better wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Four, three. Last one. Let's stretch a minute. I think it's quadriceps that really went away. Yep. Okay, press that heel down and feel a stretch in your big gastrocnemius muscle, that big calf muscle that gives your leg a shake, your lower leg. And now bring that same leg in and make the bend of that knee as severe as possible, keeping your heel on the floor to stretch your more internal calf muscle, which is the soleus muscle. We won't hold these stretches long. We're just trying to give them a quick wake up call. We're not trying to develop flexibility, range of motion right now. We'll do that later when we're real hot and we have real flexibility in those muscles and, and immense blood flow. This is hamstring. Don't walk your knee and brace yourself to lean over. Take your rear end away from the bench. Try and move your rear end away and feel that stretch down here underneath your thigh. You know, there's really no time in the workout that you need to lock your knees. When you're stepping up and down, you, you, you won't lock your knees. You probably won't have time, and it wouldn't be natural anyway. But in case you are one who tends to hyperextend the knees or lock them while standing, I warn you that that's not a good idea. Okay, quadricep. Don't arch your back and just press your foot toward your hand, making sure that both thighs are vertical. It'd be you don't nice want... if there was a wall around here to hang on to. Yeah. Well, you got a cute girl next to you, Lonnie. I don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> just make sure that that leg is not splayed out to the side. They're both vertical. Okay, other calf. Ooh, does that feel good? I have a feeling we're gonna feel our calves today. <laughs> yeah, you, you do. Your calves get real strong with bench stepping. Pull it in. Tie your soleus. I don't feel this stretch Neither back do I, here. Nothing. Yeah. But we believe. We believe. We believe. This is we, doing believe. we read the research and we know that I muscle is stretching. Do you and feel it? Should it? Be yeah, stretched. some people do. I don't. Yeah. Feel it. Okay. Hamstring, down you go. I don't care whether your whole foot is on the bench here or just your heel, although I suspect you'll find it easier to get a stretch on that hamstring if you will put the full, full foot down. Just don't lock the knee. Make sure it's a little soft, as they say. Someone said to me recently, what do you mean, soft joints, soft knees? What is this? Mushy knees, mushy knees. Jello knees. Okay, quadricep. Don't fail me now. It's more balancing problem. Obviously, this is a balance problem. If you've got a sofa or a door <laughs> facing nearby, hang on to it. 
press your foot against your hand. Don't arch your back. Are you ready to rock and roll, baby? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. That's a nice slow beat. Don't underestimate it. Grab some weights if you dare, and if you're a beginner, don't try it yet. Just work with the legs for a few weeks. This is the basic step. It's just a basic step up. Lead with the same foot every time. We go up and down. Up. Come on, with me. I'm <laughs> up and down. Just pump your arms. That's it. Now step to the center of the platform, not on the edge, and with the whole of your foot. And the same thing when you come down, you land on your toes, but follow right through. Let your heel down on the floor. Except, of course, when we get into the fun choreography, when you have some little touch steps. Okay. Ready for some arm work? Four, three, just make your arms match your legs. Up, up, down, down, up, up. That's it. Good. And mindful of those knees that you're not locking them. Now when we get into more complicated steps, you probably want to watch the bench. Keep your eyes on it. That's it, no problem. Sometimes it might get a little Four, hard to watch the three, TV and the bench. Two, switch legs. <laughs> well, I guess it's kind of boring to keep your eyes down there. <laughs> but boy, when it gets complicated, I do tend to keep my eyes on the bench. Up, up, down, up. Let's practice the switch. Eight, seven, six. One switch. Eight, seven. A switch six, can be a bit of a tricky one. Four. But you don't three, want to get lost. I'll five. show you. you. It's just step touch. That's how you make the switch. Now, if you started out with weights and five, ten minutes into this, you get tired, you can always throw your weights down. And if that doesn't help you out, lower your bench. Find a smaller step. Four, three, two, switch. Four, three, two, switch. Four, three, two, switch. Four, three, two, switch. Up, up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Four, three. Now just march it out. We got a new pattern change. Here's the first complicated one. It is up, up, and then down touch. In four, three, ready, go. Up, up, down touch. Up, Ooh, just barely but touch your toe. Up, but now up, we don't have down, to worry touch. about switching legs. Huh? It just works. Now we don't have to worry about switching legs. That's works. right. The first was an all a single step. That basic step means you have to purposely switch your legs now and then. This is an alternating step. It does it for you. Have you got it? Touch. Up. All right, the hands. Up, up, down. Up, up. Just touch. Up, up. That's it. How you doing, guys? Oh. Good. Yes. <laughs> sure, Charlene, that you're doing your very best just to confuse me, not these other guys, but me. Oh, complain, complain, complain. <laughs> Stay close to the bench. Don't wander too far back there. And step to the middle. And you know, when you first start using weight, you need to use real low poundage. We've got two and three pounds here. Some of the guys may go up to four. Whoa, I can tell you that's a challenge. Whew. And when you start, keep your elbows bent a lot. Shorten your levers. Cut down the range of motion. Okay. Try it to the corners. Up, up. Up, up, down, touch. 
you see what you're doing? The lead foot, you just go toward that corner. You guys want to change the hands? Let's change them. Pull out, and in, out. That's it. That's it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now we're going to switch. Up, touch, up, touch, down, down. Up, touch, down. Oh, boy. You Did you catch me. that? Are yeah. you with me? <laughs> there. I think I got it down. Uh-oh, Renee. Uh -oh. Oh, Renee. Okay. <laughs> Is everybody okay, on this train? Okay. Listen, if you get screwed up on the pattern, just catch us up. Failing that, you can always go back to basic for a little while. Not to worry, just keep your legs moving. Okay, the hands. Up, pull, extend. Up, pull, It's real constant, this workload. It's, uh, it's not really noticeable. And then you get 15 minutes into this, and you're really breathing hard, and you start to say, well, where did that yes, come from? Yes, it's very even, isn't it? More so than the high kicks of aerobics and yes. then down. Although, you know, who would have thought that stepping up on a bench would be this difficult? Truly. Oh, this is golly. Great. We, the Army did this years ago. I remember the old Harvard step test. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's right. one of that's the right. yeah. classic fitness tests, and with good reason. <laughs> and now and it's back. Is, now, this is why you're supposed to you walk up You need to be careful there. if you're holding weights. To, if, you, if you would do all the work, don't follow me, don't follow me. If you would do it all at shoulder height like that, it gets to be hard on your shoulders. So, we keep the hands moving through a large range, all the horizontal planes. It's a problem if you work for a prolonged period with weights at shoulder height or in one horizontal plane. Okay, how about an interesting variation of this? Okay. One? What do you got? We have a little request from the peanut gallery. <laughs> Instead of a touch, pull up a knee. Up, knee, down, down. Oh, I shouldn't have said up, anything. Knee, down. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Hey, this is good. My ball. That's it. Up, knee, down, up, knee. Now you can try it to the corners. Up, knee. Just go the direction of your up leg, of your lead leg. That's it. If you should ever feel like your arms, or for that matter, your legs, are so tired that they're out of control, you need to decrease the workload. Lower the step. Decrease the weights. Or just throw them down. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get shaky on this, would you? No. No, it's a good, constant workload which should tax you in a real steady manner. Remember, this is fat burning, too. Constant. This is fat burning, she says. Look at the woman. <laughs> I know what fat, fat burning. <laughs> what fat, Renee? Bone burning. <laughs> OK. Four, three, and back to basic. Up and down. See, that's what you can always go back to. If you get tired, or the phone rings, you know you can hit basic. Good old and basic. Basic you could do on the staircase. I mean, you can switch legs on the staircase. All right, now, we're gonna make this a V step, stepping wide apart on the bench and close in on the floor. Here we go. to take your landmarks Four, at the beginning. Three, switch, feet. Out, out. Oh, 
Oh, we got Diane this time. You got, got me see too, you. almost. You see a little hiccup? Yeah, a little hiccup there. Okay, ready for some arms? Match your arms and legs. Out, out, in. those little discs between each of your bony vertebra. We got four, three, two, switch, eight. So those little short muscles in the back, four, three, two, switch. And they are pretty small muscles in the back. They have to work hard to keep you from falling right over frontwards. And that just adds compression stress to your spine. Four, three, switch again. Eight, seven, six. Five, I can feel this. Four, Me too, three. Bonnie. Last time. Eight, seven, six. Four, three, drop those hands. Woo! Okay, up, up, down, touch. That's the first one we did. Here we go. And up, up, down, touch. Got it? Up, 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 down, touch. Watch the hands. Touch in, out, touch. Watch those hands. Out and in, out and in. You know, in the beginning, with a new pattern or a complicated pattern, You'll get through it better if you say it to yourself. Just say, up, up, down, touch. Up, up, down, touch. I don't hear ya. Up, up, down, touch. Up, up, down, touch. Up, up, down, touch. You just beat it into the brain. That's right. Lonnie? Yes. You want something new? I want something new. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm positive. What can you do? Throw something at it. Well, we're going to turn this step. Uh-oh. Watch it, watch it. In four, three, two, one. Up, turn, down, touch. Up, turn. Oh, we got it. Yes? Are you with us? That's what makes this fun. Up, touch, down, touch. That's it. So you just turn on the bench. Getting dizzy? <laughs> yes, and nothing else. <laughs> okay, I'll count you down. Here's eight, seven, six. We're going back to basic. Oh, goody. Here we go. Up. And up. And up. That's it. We got four, three. Switch those legs. Cardio on this, this one. This is high intensity, low impact, 
Good grief, look at Eric sweating back there. Ooh. He's working, yeah. Good work, Ooh. Eric. Yes. <laughs> Golly, that's fun. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Back to the touch. Up, touch. Hands are overhead. Up. Now watch out. Everybody with me? Oh, boy. Cross over this sucker. Right over the bench. Good. I was wondering if we were going to ever get to the other side. <laughs> Difference without the Stay arms. to the other side, up touch, down touch. Yes. Use your hands. Pump your arms. And that's just a natural arm swing. It's just what feels good to you. Yes. The heel in four, three, two, one. Up touch, down heel. What, troops? 
Other side! Yeah, that's we're it. Gonna, we're gonna see that one again. We got the whole other side to do. Now this is advanced cardio work. Listen to me, breathing hard. But you can always lighten it up by losing the weights and decreasing the height of your stair. Drop those hands. Yes. This time, stay to one side. Up, touch. Yes. Use those hands. Ready? Four, three, pull your knee up. Yes. Does that feel better? It does. Okay. This is a hard bunch. Four, three, lift a leg. Up. You know, the American College of Sports Medicine recommends that for aerobic training, you work between 65% and 90% of your age-predicted maximum heart rate. There's a little trick in there I need to tell you about. Four, three, two, and touch. Up, touch, down, touch. Hands are overhead. Up. Cross over that bench. Ever heard of the pressure response? response is a mechanism which kicks your heart rate up and your blood pressure up and doesn't increase the amount of oxygen you're using. Drop those hands. In other words, it's your oxygen consumption that determines fitness and creates fitness. So, if your heart rate is increasing without a, a parallel increase in your oxygen consumption, you've got some heart rate there that's not contributing to fitness, then that's kind of what happens when you do one of two things. It is thought that when you even grip weights, you get the pressure response. You can just hold those weights gently. There's no need to throttle or strangle them. The other way you can kick in the press response and raise your blood pressure and your heart rate is just this. If you just hold those hands over your head, you get a little bit of heart rate, which is not really contributing to fitness. That's why we can keep those arms moving. Back to basic. Here you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Ever done the Charleston? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's like an up touch, down touch, right? Yeah. Just a simple little step. Up touch, down touch. Here we go. And Charleston, up touch, down touch. That foot goes way back there. Now, what does that pressure response mean to you? When we take heart rate in exercise where we've used hand weights, or arms with movements above the shoulder level, that heart rate may be a little bit of an overestimate of your exercise intensity. Last one, switch sides, up, touch, down, touch. That's it. I might move that up a bit. How okay. you doing? Oh. You having trouble? A little bit. No, you, okay. the Charleston queen? <laughs> <laughs> if there's a dancer among us, tis you, Diane. <laughs> Most people will train at 60 to 80% intensity of your age predicted max. Last one, switch sides. But if you're well conditioned, I mean you're fit, you're an animal. <laughs> Real like jocks that. can train at 90% of their age predicted maximum heart rate. How many more? Here's three. Here's two. Last one, switch legs. Eight of these. Oh, it's easy 
you when you know how, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a great one for the arms turn. Let's go eight more. Let's go eight more. Here we go. Everybody, put your soul into it. We're getting aerobic fitness and muscular strength by using these weights. Four. Back to basic. Okay, remember that little pattern we did in the beginning? It was up, up, down, touch. So the touch comes where? The bottom. On the floor. Here we go, here we go. Up, up, down, touch. Up, up, down, touch. That's it. All right. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I think we got it. Watch the hands. They're going overhead. Huh. Eric, how you doing back here oh, with those weights? I'm with you. you got four pounds in that? Yeah, I'm starting to feel it. Oh, tan. goodness. Or did you sneak some lead out on us? Oh. He looks like he's working hard. I'm trying. All right, we don't want to keep those hands overhead for a prolonged period. We're going to do a shoulder push to the belly. Watch it. Shoulder, belly, shoulder, belly, up. Pull it down, up, to your belly, right down. Up. Some of us are holding these weights, and some of us prefer to wrap them around the wrists, like Renee and Eric. Okay. Now, that little touch at the bottom, that becomes a lunge behind. Here we go, lunge it back. Back it. Way back. Foot is back. Yes. Oh, I can feel that. Big difference. Now, let's change the arms. Just pull them in front. Pull them right there. Yes. Still lunging. Good. All right. Here's four. Three. I'm going to change the arms on you. I'm gonna do it on the lunge. In, out, in, out, in. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Good. Are you keeping your back vertical? When you get tired, keep you tend to lean forward. Try and keep your back erect. A change? You guys ready? Yeah. You with us, Ronald? Let's see what you okay. got. Okay. We're gonna, on the floor, throw in a little step together, step together. Oh. In four, three, two, here it is. Up, up, down, touch together, together. You got it! Up, up, down, touch together. Oh, I like that yes. one. Yes? Oh, I like yes. that one. Oh, it feels good. Sigh of relief. What oh, do you think yes. about that? <laughs> well, it's a little restful anyway. Yes. Up, up, down, touch together, together. We got it. Are you ready for me to screw it up for you? No. Oh. What do you got for us, Shelby? Okay. Eric, instead of stepping together, you're going to kick your bum. Here it is. Oh. Kick. Kick. Up, up, down, touch. Kick your bum and kick your bum again. Oh, I like Good that one. Good work. Up, up. What do you do if you're getting tired? Drop those arms. Drop those arms, yeah. baby cakes. You know, I feel real good about hitting two birds with one stone. <laughs> I mean, I hope you're not talking about people. Aerobic conditioning and muscular conditioning. Oh, those same birds. time. Okay, we're gonna make this a little harder yet. Now this one's got a bit of a trick in it. You're gonna do a little side step. Watch out, here it comes. Up, up, step together, side, side. Up, up, up step together. We got gotcha. you. I messed yeah. that one. Oops. <laughs> here we go. No, you got it. You yeah, got, got it. it. Yeah. What do you do when you are having trouble? Say it. Up, Say it up, yourself. down, step, side. Let's hear it. Up, up, down, down step, side, side. side. Up, up, down, step, side. There we go. Anytime you need meet a new pattern, say it to yourself. 
That makes it so much easier. And listen, work on the legs and later add the arms. Some people go for several weeks just working on the leg work before they ever start to add in the arms. You got no problem with that. All right. Here's the last one. Up, up, down, and just march. Here you go. Oh, we did it. OK. Oh, yeah. oh. Well, here comes oh, the did last. That. <laughs> this is the last hill home oh, right here. Is this OK, the storm? up on the bench. Here you go. Up. Now, most of what we've done is stepping up, right? Now we're going to step down. Here we go. Step. Down. Down. That's it. Oh, boy. Hang on, oh, Charlie Brown. Charlie, I can feel that. <laughs> Stay close to the bench. When your foot hits the floor and it's just your forefoot, hold it quite tight to the bench. We got four, three. Give me eight on one side. Eight, seven. I can feel this in Woo. my cuffs already. Four, oh, yeah. three. Alternate for eight, seven. Oh. Okay, you're gonna need to breathe real deep again. Eight times. Eight. Talk to me. Are you breathing? Oh. <laughs> We're concentrating on breathing. All eight. <laughs> Four, three, two, one leg. Four times. That's it. All turn eight. If you get tired, you can always go back to basic. All right. All turn eight. Four, three. Give me two a leg. To a leg, alternate. Other leg. Hold these singles. Now we're gonna cross over that bench. In four, three, two, cross, side. That's it. All right, we on this train? Yeah. Same thing. Eight times, one leg. Down, down. You're just barely touching. Four, three, hard cardio. Whew. You want to process as much oxygen as possible. Other leg, eight times. That's what gets you lean and fit. Alternate, eight, seven. It feels good pushing the arms How up. How are those legs, Eric? They're working. <laughs> Whew. Four times. Four, three. Diane, you're gonna make it? I think so. <gasps> I'm concentrating. Four times, one leg. Alternate. It's predictable. Two times, one leg. Alternate for two. Two on the other side. Alternate. Hold it, hold it right here. Hold these singles. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh. oh. All right. Now, guys, just give it one leg. Here we go. Yes. Now, watch out. I want you to slow it down. We go down, up, down. Now, instead of bringing that leg up to the bench, you're going to pulse step. You're going to take it right over the bench, and it's going to be twice as fast. Here you go. Eight, seven, six, hit, four, three. Switch your legs. Step out. Two, three, four more. This is very advanced. And so if you're a beginner, just go back to base. Four, three, and you'll work up to this. Switch. Eight, seven, six, four more. Switch that sucker up. How do you feel? Woo! Woo! Yeah. All right. Last one, I promise. Switch. Yes? Yeah. Coming down. Yeah. Here's the whole oh. shit. Three, two, two one. one. Just march oh. it out. Oh. Whoa. Woo, we Ooh. did it. You feel that? Yeah. Turn it front. Cool Turn it around oh, yeah. front. Now keep Ooh. those legs moving. Step back off the bench. Throw your weights down. See if yes. you can find a pulse. Please. Keep your legs moving. And ready, set, count. Legs moving. Stop. All right. Ooh. Where were you? Oh. Oh. Hi. Oh, Very yeah. good. <laughs> That's oh. real hard work. Where were That's you? Have workout. a look at your heart rate charts. 
We like to see you training between 60 and 80 percent intensity. Remember, unless you're a well-conditioned, seasoned athlete, you might go on up to 90 percent. Guys, here are your heart rate charts. Yours are a little different than female because men are bigger animals with bigger hearts that pump more slowly. Okay, we got to keep these legs going. We're going to go back to basic boot camp with the military. Let's hear the chant. Now I'll sing it out and you just repeat after me. Okay. Here we go. And I don't know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been told. Exercise will ease my soul. Exercise will ease my soul. Roll the cobwebs from my head. Roll the cobwebs from my head. Make me quick and bright instead. Make me quick and bright instead. Sound off. Sound off. Sound off. Sound off. Sound off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Change feet. No more sleepless. Exercise will 
please my soul. Exercise, please my soul. Now our chanting is all done. Now our chanting is all done. I hope you folks have had some fun. I hope you folks have had some fun. Sound off. Sound off. Sound off. Sound off. Sound off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Woo! Are you ready to stretch some muscles? All right, just lower that heel off the bench and stretch those calves. Is oh, that nice? That feels, feels great. just oh. wonderful. Best with the Now listen, if your heart rate was a little higher than you expected when we took our, our, our check, remember the press response may have overestimated you and seemed to make you higher than you really were. So use the talk test. Anytime you're working out, if you can just talk, and, and of course you'll be breathless, but if you can speak and carry on some sort of conversation, then you're okay. But when you're sucking so much air you can't even speak, you need to rein in a little bit. Okay, let's switch off the other leg. So could you talk, Ron? Oh, it feels great, I'm telling you. Were, were you challenged? There. Oh, very challenged. You can always add more weight, you know. No, more than that, that was quite, that, that was, was all right. Did the job. Okay. Did the job. <laughs> oh, boy, does that feel good. Okay, now I want you to get down and find something higher. We're going to double stack our benches. If you can find um, a bed or a table to put your foot up on or the edge of a high back chair with nice big arms. Oh, oh, gosh, no, no. Look, look. Don't, when you're hauling your bench around, don't bend over like this. Lonnie was going to raise up and, ooh, lift with his back. Over time, that'll stress and damage your back. Better to do like Eric, to squat or assume a one, a one leg kneel. And now with your backs erect, lift with your legs. Oh, that's safer. I like that yeah. one better. You looked in pain, Lonnie. Well, you would be one day. Yes, one that's day. right. Now let's stretch your hamstring muscles. If you hike your leg up here, something, oh, about thigh height. And keep the knee bent. You don't need to lock that knee. Brace yourself as you lean forward and push your bum away from the bench. Take your rear end away from your foot. Do you feel it? I tell you, this is the tightest muscle group on my body, the okay, hamstrings. I think it probably is for most people, yeah. Diane. The hamstring muscles are over tight in most North Americans, and when they are too tight, they tend to contribute to back pain. That's one of the main reasons why we want to keep them flexible. And you're so hot now, it's safe to push this stretch intensely. Not so that it hurts, not to the point of pain, but almost very intense developmental passive stretch. Okay, let's let that one off, raise up here, and let's go inside. The adductor muscles, just the edge of your foot should be on the bench, and lean in a little bit. You don't need to lock either leg, neither the weight bearing nor the, the raised leg should be locked. And if you just lean in here a little bit, you'll feel a stretch on the inside thigh. These muscles are generally too tight. Okay, now come back forward, bend your knee, and just lean into the bench here. And this is what we're trying to get at. The upper part of your back leg, those are the hip flexor muscles. Oh, that feels great. Yeah, you can re if you just kind of let go here and just let your groin uh, fall toward the bench or your table. I do this on the kitchen table. I know it leaves marks, but it's good for my hip flexors. <laughs> and hip flexors are too tight, too, and they, when over tight, contribute to back problems as well. And we use these mm -hmm. hip flexors a lot in a bench workout. And, you know, any time you use a muscle a lot and strengthen it, you also shorten it. Okay, other side. Let's try hamstrings. Here we go again. Remember, knee is bent. Now, can't you just feel this? Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay, so you're in the Chinese circus or you're a human pretzel. Maybe <laughs> you're so You know those Not ladies me. that... Oh. Not me. <laughs> I have to work but at most this. of us mere mortals. Oh, I have to work at it. Yeah, well, it is prudent to stretch. And this is the caviar. Why do all that work and go home before they cut the cake? 
This is the champagne. <laughs> yeah, <Enjoy. that's> right. <laughs> do you do you find you really tighten up when you exercise a lot? Yes, it's very important. I think the stretch before you know a little bit before and a lot afterwards. A lot after. It's it's really the after after that counts the most. That's where you really get the progress in your flexibility. Okay, ready to try the inside? Here's some adductor stretch. I'll show you why I don't want your foot flat on the bench. If you tried to keep your foot on the bench, look what that would do to your heel. You got, I mean, your ankle, you gotta crank that ankle over and that's hard on the ligaments that support the ankle. So, just put the edge down now, you, you've, you've also not got your foot flat down either. You've just got the edge of your shoe. And what I want you to do is just lean in enough so that you feel some stretch on the inside thigh. Yes or no? Yes, yes indeed. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. <sighs> All right. And back again. Listen, guys. If this workout seemed a little much for you, have faith, gear it down, do half of it if you must, and fast forward to the cool down and stretch. You build strength and stamina by exposure. It's the process of overload and adaptation. You bite off more than you can chew, and by golly, then you chew it. <laughs> so you just hang in there and do what you can, or do half of it with gusto, and the last half kind of cheat your way through. and you'll get stronger. Despite your skepticism, it will come to work for you. Yeah. Okay, these hip flexors had it. Mm -hmm. One more real important group, and they're the muscles on the front of your legs. They're the quadriceps. They're the ones that got you up and down off that bench. Now if you'll put your instep, the top of your foot, up on something about hip height, thigh height, then jump away from the bench, bend your weight-bearing leg, and now what really counts, pelvic tilt, and a real hard pelvic tilt, so that you feel some stretch in the front of that leg. Make sure that both thighs are parallel, that you don't have one leg splayed out to the side. I don't want to see, I don't want to see that sort of thing. It's here. Can you feel it? Yes. Put on more pelvic tilt, more pelvic tilt. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let it go. Try the other side. That foot is up there. I must Hop say, away. I felt it mainly on my calves and my quadriceps. The, oh, the, you mean how the, the, whole, the knee, the, 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 the whole whole sweet relief? Yes, yeah. exactly. Pelvic tilt hard. Both of those muscle groups work so hard. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, if you've been weight training in a gym and you've already got good strong quadriceps, you're a long way to, to being a good bench stepper. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and if you don't have strong quadriceps, you will. Yes, indeed. <laughs> we'll will. build them up for you. Oh, and Still listen, anytime day. you really exert and you're really hot, you can do these intense stretches. You'll be safe to do them as long as you've got lots of blood flow, major blood flow going. Okay, we'll just sit down and have a, a quick crack at the upper body here. Depress your shoulders, pull that arm around in front, give that shoulder girdle a nice stretch. Well guys, it won't happen in a week. It won't happen for you in a month. But if you'll do regular activity day in and day out, you'll come to enjoy all the benefits you've heard about. Don't sit, don't sit. Exercise wear by Gilda Marks Industries. Weight equipment by Flex Weights. Aerobic shoes by Reebok. Makeup by John Cox at About Face. Hair by Bees Brady and Jerome. Hats by Montana Avenue Design. Variable height step equipment by The Step. If you'd like to order any of our other videos, The Step, Flex Weights, or our hats, write this address or call toll free. 
The It Figures collection of hour-long videos includes No Jump, our low-impact tape for beginners, Hang In There, an intermediate-level aerobic workout, Rev Up, an advanced aerobic workout, Rev Up the Sequel, a more intense advanced aerobic workout, Muscle Building, a thorough program of weight training, Home Stretch, an extensive program of developmental stretch, and Step Right Up, an advanced step aerobics workout. To order your VHS or beta copy, phone toll-free 1-800-661-1674.